Hi, I'm Tyler Kilfel with Beck's Practical Farm Research and thank you for joining us for another PFR report. On today's PFR report we have Mike Schwegman with Cap Stan Ag and he's going to be introducing the product Seed Squirter. So Mike, why don't you tell us how this product works and what makes this product so innovative. Thanks Tyler. With uh, Seed Squirter what we decided to do is, is that we've seen that the input costs keep on rising year after year and our profits keep are getting smaller and smaller. So we wanted to come up with a product that was able to help minimize your cost of pop-up fertilizer or even some other type of product that you want to put in furrow. So what we did was is that uh, we've got a system that has a pressurized boom at all times and it takes the seed sensor and ties into it to be able to put a shot of fertilizer down per seed for your fertilizer application of in furrow. It uh, can also increase and decrease with your population so that way it does not matter if your population is 28,000 or 34,000 or 38,000, each seed gets a recommended amount of dose per seed of product that you want to put in furrow. So basically what we're trying to do with this system here, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're trying to utilize every dollar that we put into our, our row starter system by placement, right? That is correct. We, uh, even though the fertilizer companies are, and product, uh, whatever product company you have out there, they do not give us a specific amount of dose per seed, but that's what we want to get the industry to. We, we want to get the industry to getting to a dose per seed instead of a gallon per acre, because that's what it really comes down to. So Mike, a couple challenges that I see with this product is, you know, what, what do you do in a situation where you got to make a turn in the field? And also, what, is, what do you do when you have a double or a skip in this system? What does this system do to compensate for those, those challenges? Since we are putting a dose down per seed, as a variable rate planter increases its population on the outside making a corner and slows down on the inside, we are actually increasing the rate because since we're putting a dose down per seed, that rate increases to get each seed that's planted the right dose. The same thing that happens if your planter messes up and has a skip, you don't waste that product on that area because that seed did not signalize for that product to be put down in, in furrow. And if you have variable rate seeding with your uh, product, as your rate increases going across the field for your seeding rate, then your product rate increases too because the same dose is put down per seed. And that's the most important thing is that each seed is getting the main dose that it needs for the product that you want to put in furrow. You know, you talk about the electronics that goes along with this system. Is it a plug and play type of thing? Is it something that we can, can plug into our John Deere system or, or how does that work? So what happens is, is that uh, the electronic system itself is actually all self-contained. So it's just an add-on aftermarket unit. Then what we do is that we tie into either the ISO bus of your tractor or the ISO bus of the control system that you're using, if it is ISO bus com compatible. And it shows up on your virtual terminal and everything is just cross-functioning right there. We have went to uh, PlugFest and we work with every monitor on the market that we know of. Very nice. Well, in PFR, as these innovative products come to market, we like to be first in line on the testing. So this year, with the Capstan Ag Seed Squirter System, we'll be testing it at the Indiana site as well as the Ohio site. We'll be testing two different rates along with two different row widths. So we'll be testing 15-inch rows and 30-inch rows as well. So again, as these products come out, we like to be the, be the front runners of these. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to us either on Facebook or Twitter or comment below. If you have any questions furthering the Capstan Ag portion, you can go online to www.capstanag.com. Stay tuned for further more information about this and an in the field update. Thanks for watching another PFR report.